بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته everyone here I am with another video hopefully a short one discussing again the Qibla direction in North America which way we face in order to face Mecca or the Kaaba when we pray um, my last few videos raised questions about how we define the, the straight direction or the shortest direction between two points. Um, on a flat surface, if you look at just a map, it's, it's very simple. If you want to join two points, the shortest distance is just a straight line. You just draw a line from one point to another. So if you have a flat map um, or, or a canter map, you would draw a line from North America to Saudi Arabia and it would be in a southeast direction. However, in reality, the Earth is curved. So we have to start speaking about drawing lines and, and figuring out directions on a curved surface, because that's the reality. If you're in the region around Saudi Arabia, where the curvature of the Earth's surface is not significant, you can approximate it as, as a plane or, or a flat map, and the directions are very straightforward. If you're in the north, you face south. If you're on the uh, let's west side, you face east, etc. But when you start talking about extreme distances away from Mecca, then the, the directions are not as straightforward. Now, there's something called the Great Circle, and the Great Circle is just the, the idea of arcs around the Earth's surfaces, which are the shortest distances over the Earth's surface towards two points. And I argue, and I don't really need to argue, this is just a fact, that the, uh, let me see if I can get this here, the shortest distance or the great circle between North America and Saudi Arabia has you facing northeast uh, in, in your prayer. Now people in the comments have not really liked that. They say, no, the, the shortest distance between two points is always a straight line. And therefore, what you do is you draw a straight line, even if it cuts through the Earth's surface, you draw a straight line from South America or from North America to Saudi Arabia, and that's the direction. And they say that's southeast. Well, that's true if it's a flat map. But what I want to demonstrate here very quickly is that if you use that concept, it still is northeast. And the way I'm going to do that is by sacrificing my son's little globe. And here I have my wife's knitting pin. And I'm actually going to do that experiment right now. I'm going to create a line or join North America with, uh, let me see if I can find, with Saudi Arabia with a straight line. This is a needle pin. It doesn't bend, so it's a straight line. I'm going to join this by cutting through the Earth's surface. And then we're going to take a look at how that, what that implies in terms of the direction for the way we face in North America. So I only have one globe and I only have one try to do this, so I'll give this a chance. So I'm going to do just that. People say the shortest distance is a straight line joining two points. So we're going to do that. We're going to start by taking this needle. We're going to pierce it in North America and inshallah we're going to have it come out around Saudi Arabia. So we're going to try. And it's, again, these are approximates. It doesn't have to be absolutely precisely in that direction, but we're going to try our best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to do that in a separate video. I'm going to join them and then we're going to come back and discuss it. Okay, so Bismillah, this is our knitting needle. This will represent our straight line connecting two points. We're going to start at North America and we're going to create a straight line or straight tunnel from North America through the Earth's volume and hopefully come out of, say, Saudi Arabia. And that will be technically what people have commented on as being the shortest distance between North America and Saudi Arabia, which is the direction you should face to pray. So Bismillah, this, I only have one chance of this, so let me give it a try and see if I can do this. Bismillah. So I'm going to try to to pierce through the eastern part of North America as an approximation, and let's see if I can come out the right side. All right, alhamdulillah. So here we have it. We have, using this needle, 
created a line that connects North America to Saudi Arabia, and it's approximation because I couldn't do this absolutely precisely, but it's approximation, but it connects through Saudi Arabia. Let me show you that North America and Saudi Arabia. It's pointing more towards Sham, but again, it's an approximation. But this should satisfy everybody who believes that the direction that we should face to Mecca in North America should be along the straightest direction, which is a line or a straight line connecting two points, that is North America to Saudi Arabia. You have that right here. A straight line connecting North America to Saudi Arabia. Now the question is, what is the direction that we face? How do we define that in terms of the cardinal points, north, east, south, and west? Well, if I just show this to you this way, if I just line it, you're facing northeast. Right? The direction, and let me align this so it's nice and straight, the direction somebody faces in, in North America to pray is northeast. Another way to see it is the, this line, if you were to rise it to the Earth's surface, and that would actually be creating a great circle, the, the line that connects two points when it's projected onto the Earth's surface, it creates the great circle. The great circle connecting over the Earth's surface, North America to Saudi Arabia, is facing in North America, northeast. So if you are of the opinion or the belief that the direction we face has to be in the straight line and that straight line you want to be the line that connects the points even if it cuts through the surface, even so, even when you do that, when you look at it in the right way, the direction when you're standing in a place in North America and you're following that line over the Earth's surface, it is facing northeast. It's not southeast. So there you have it, using this idea of, of a straight line connecting two points um, on the surface of the Earth, even if it cuts through the actual Earth's volume, by doing that and connecting North America with Mecca or Saudi Arabia, and then looking about how that line is projected or rises onto the Earth's surface, we show that even using that method, the way we face in our prayer in North America is northeast. It is not southeast. And this is the importance of looking at the globe for what it is, a 3D sphere, and looking at how we face based on a 3D object, not looking at a flat map or an appro flat map approximation, especially in places like North America, which are far away from the Kaaba, from Mecca, such that the flat map approximation, as you can obviously see here, it uh, does not work. The flat map approximation does not work for such extreme distances. So please, if you have any questions, feel free to post your comments, as well as to message me privately. I'm open to discussion, but hopefully this satisfies people's questions about the straight lines and how that manifests as a direction that we face in North America towards Mecca. Assalamu alaikum.